Okay, so Google just released Android 14 Beta 4 for Pixel smartphones, which doesn't bring any kind of major changes in the UI. Some minor tweaks have been done here and there. And I think this is the second last beta based on Android 14 after I think beta 5 will mostly get stable build of Android 14 for Pixel smartphones. So today in this video, let's talk about all the changes what Google have done with Android 14 beta 4. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first, let me show you the software information here. I have my Pixel 6a. If we go to about section, under Android version, you can see Android version is 14, which comes with 5th July 2023 security patch. And the Google Play system update is also 1st July 2023. Build number is .005. With this beta 4, now we finally get to see the Easter egg of Android 14. And there you can see. If you long press on this, you'll see some different animation where you can play around. And after that, another good thing is now you can also check the manufacturing year of your smartphone. So here I have my Pixel 6a. You can see under model, it says manufactured year and that is 2022. This is new implementation on Pixel smartphones. And guys, now before moving ahead, if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel. As I told you guys, there are no major changes, but some minor tweaks here and there. So first change, what you guys will notice and that's related to this silent icon in the status bar. Previously, there was a bell with a cross sign, but now we have a speaker with cross sign. So this is a minor change which have been done with Android 14 beta 4. And the next change is with this lens icon in the Google search bar. So here you can see the screenshot towards the left hand side where we had the single outline but now we have separation between the outline of Google lens and the icons are also lighter in color compared to beta 3. And the same thing goes with the app drawer. Here you can see the icons are changed and lighter in color on beta 4. But another thing what you'll notice here is previously this search bar used to match the wallpaper color and it was very hard to notice search bar in the app drawer. But now you can see it has been separated with the white color fill and now it's easily noticeable in the app drawer. Here is a screenshot of beta 3 in dark mode. So let me turn on the dark mode here. And now if you see the app drawer, you can see it's clearly visible in both dark and light mode. Talking about the lock screen, so here there are no noticeable change, but I had a photo which I had taken on the previous build. You can see even on AOD, the clock was overlapping the weather information. And this is the same case here also on the lock screen. Right now, I'm not able to see the weather on the lock screen, but in some cases, the fingerprint icon overlaps the clock. So this is still not being fixed by Google. I hope it gets fixed in the upcoming builds. On the home screen also, if you notice, the app icons now have darker color instead of that light color which used to be seen on beta 3. And this applies in both light and dark theme. If you go to wallpapers and style section or with beta 4, Google have more focus on the color segment. Here also, if you see, I'll show you a screenshot under wallpapers and style we have different color palettes. It's not actually different, but the color is more darker on beta 4 compared to beta 3. Though the color palettes are almost similar, only the color have been made more darker to make it more eye-catchy, which you can see here also. You can also see this text clock color and size. This also now adapts to the material U, which wasn't the case previously. And tapping here, now it says the same thing, which is clock color and size. Previously, it used to say clock settings and you can also see the color pill of this text which is more darker and if you see here towards the bottom side this slider is also more darker compared to previous one once again easily noticeable then going to the settings here there are some minor changes done so if you go to system languages now the speech settings have been moved from the keyboard setting to language setting this is a minor tweak and the last change is layer to device lock so if you have set a six digit pin then the device can automatically lock your device soon you enter without tapping the tick mark so right now i had four digit pin and let me show you an example first so if i had to unlock the device by using the pin i'll type my normal pin which is one two three four and we have to tap this button this button will be only visible if you have four digit pin so i just tap on confirm my device unlocks now i'll change the pin to six digit and now let's see what happens so now I've set a six digit pin, I'll swipe up and you can see that icon have disappeared from the bottom. If I just enter the pin one, two, three, four, five, six, 
my device will automatically get unlocked so guys these are all the changes what we get to see on beta 4 which is based on android 14 if you guys still have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go